Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm with my good buddy over here, Tim. Once again, we're back into it. And I'm back here out at the Levan Black Agate. So I was here a little while back, a couple weeks back with my dad. And we found the original dig site that the person dug for the black and white agate over on those hills there. And what didn't get filmed last week is I was over here for a little bit in the wash and I found some agates in there, black as well. I didn't see any white on it, but occasionally they get a little red. And we searched around and we found some much larger pieces than what we we're finding over there. And the, the good one you saw in the other video um, was actually one that I found just kind of on the side of the hill near the wash over here. And we kind of started looking up on the wash, but I ran out of time because I had to get back. So today the goal is to find the source, where that's coming from. It, it's got to be coming from some out out here. And I'm excited because I'd like to see what, what we could find if we can find the source. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to head off in this direction and we're going to see if we can find the source today. So I got here and was thinking, last time I was here we found agate here. And when we walked up, we didn't really find anything on this side, but we found a little bit on that side. But I'm looking, there's a larger wash on the other side of this. So we're thinking maybe let's hit that wash and see if it's got any agate and follow it up and see if it pans out. I found a rock. So we're going to give that a shot. Here we are. We, we actually walked up the riverbed a bit and we just didn't find anything. And then we kind of did this little offshoot and Tim found the first one. And that's a good piece, actually. Look at the, uh, right there. Right yeah. there. And that's got some red in it, too. So, let's see. If we follow this up, um, let's search this hill. Let's see if there's anything on this hill. So Tim has found two more pieces, okay. and I found a little one right here. And so Tim found a few more. Yeah? Oh my <laughs> There we go. That's much bigger. Ooh, that part looks nice right there. So we not get any sun coming through it yet. It's kind of hard until you slab it yep. to get the light to come through, especially if it's a bigger piece like that. Okay, that's a big piece. That could not have moved far. So this is the area we're gonna just work the way, work our way up the hill. And as we get closer to the top of the hill, I'm, I'm seeing more. There's one right there. You can see that. That looks decent. Little piece right there. Oh, there's another one. Still not very big. I, I'm not finding very big pieces though. All right, definitely getting more stuff. Found this one. See the light coming through that one. Well, picked up a cow pie. <laughs> Don't do that, Tim. Oh, there's a bigger one. Um, can't really see any light coming through it. Uh, it's not a very good one though. Pass on that one. This one's nice though, so hold on to that one. But I definitely was seeing more right through here. Yeah, look, piece, piece. Oh, yeah. Not very good though, uh, those ones. Oh, one, but definitely more, more. And two right here. All through oh, here. Nice one. That one. Okay, definitely getting better and more concentrated. We are getting that closer. One. Okay, yeah, see, bigger and better. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Although those are very thin veins. Yeah, I don't think that's going to look very good. I'll leave that one. We need the thicker. Ooh. Ooh. That might be a thicker vein. Okay, yeah, that's got a thicker vein on this side. That one might, might look good. Cut and polished. Okay. Grab that one. Yeah, seeing a lot more now. Okay, it's got to be coming out here because we're almost to the top of the hill anyway. It's a little thicker. Oh, hey, on the back side I can see the white spot in the middle. That's going to be a good one to cut. Yeah, keeping that one. Some of this volcanic rock has that green inside of it. Oh, what? some crystals growing in it. I'm not sure if it's calcite or another mineral. Oh my goodness. 
Hey, the copper ores are going blue here. I've yeah, I know. got a little bit of azurite. I have a blue one in there. So there's a little bit of azurite in, that. in it. Oh, that's malachite right there. Just coating barely the, uh, the agate. Okay, yeah. I didn't know you could find this much copper stuff here. Oh, here's some more of the agate. Right here. Oh, that's a thick vein right on the bottom of that. Look at that. It's got a nice thick vein oh, right yeah. on the bottom. What was that, Tim? You found something. All right, let me head over. What'd you find, Tim? Oh, I beat yours. I found something incredible. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> no joke, too. This is insane. Okay, let me get over there. Um. What? Oh my gosh. What? Holy crap. Where was that? It was right down there. Right down there? Yep. Oh my gosh. This is so much bigger than what we're finding over there. It's got to be coming out somewhere. Wow. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I had left my bucket behind and I had to go back and get it. Oh. Oh, where's it coming from? I don't know. Whoa, what's that over there? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, right here too. Whoa, that's huge. It must be coming out right here. Well, it can't be coming out. We're at the top of the hill almost. It's got to be coming out here somewhere. So that big piece was there. Tim's big piece was past that. And I've been seeing some pieces all over. And uh, that one's not letting any light through, unfortunately. But we're seeing it all over now. It's got to be coming out of the hill somewhere here. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of pieces now. Look at that. And this right underneath. Oh, it's got a nice vein on that side. Keep that one. And look, just all over. There's another one there, and another one there, another one. Yeah, this much concentration, it has to be coming out of the hill somewhere here. We're on top of the hill now. We, the bigger pieces we found right there, and then we came up on top and we're just finding it everywhere through here. Look, it's, it's everywhere now. Just piece after piece. And there and there. So it's this little hilltop right here where it's no, coming right out. There. There's nothing up here. Okay, nothing at the very top. So it kind of starts here and then goes down, it looks like. I don't know how far it goes down. Oh, look at that sliver. That is cool. <laughs> oh. oh, this is a good day. Oh, man. There's just little bits of it everywhere everywhere a lot of it very thin veins so we need to focus on the thick ones that's a little better so just pulled one off the surface washed it off and look at that beautiful look at that agate going all through that rock we are in the zone just a little further down found this one look at that it's got the white agate right there in the middle it doesn't look like there's much else on it, just right there. It's been a while since I've been filming, but I just wanted to say we sat there and picked up a bunch of stuff all through here. And we've got a bunch of stuff in our buckets. And after digging a bit, I think what's going on is the very top of the hill doesn't really have the vein anymore. It's mostly, it was right here, probably right at the top of the hill or just above it. And it's all weathered out and basically the layer that used to be here is kind of gone now now it's possible if we dug down into the very top of the hill or around we might find a vein somewhere but from what we can find it's mostly just dirt here and it really seems like the layer 
would have been right at the top of the hill. So down here, um, where we were up there further, up um, just above us, there's this thicker vein down here that definitely has mostly better stuff. So this is exciting. We've I've piled some stuff, Tim's piled some stuff, and we're gonna kind of sort through it and see if we've got some good stuff, but it's already looking on average better. The veins are thicker, so exciting. Sorry I haven't been filming. Just got so excited with all this big stuff. Look how much I've added to the bucket. It's now about three-fourths of the way full. And look at these pieces. So this might have been a piece, smaller piece of that big one Tim found. Just look at those. So pretty. Oh yes, it's been a good day. Yeah, we're gonna poke around a little bit. We've mostly cleared up the surface. So there's probably a vein under here somewhere. And we're gonna kind of clean off a little bit and then we're gonna head back down. It's getting about time to go. We're back, we're back from the Levan Black Agate for the second time, and that was really good. That hill, especially that lower down part that we caught right at the very end, that I didn't film all of it for you, but that stuff was fantastic. That layer that must be coming down out a little lower on the hill must be fantastic. I wanna get back there and actually try to dig in and find that vein. But so far as what we collect on the surface, it was fantastic. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these pieces closer up. We cut them open and they're pretty amazing. Okay, I've got, I've got the macro lens on, so everything should be in focus right about here. So I'm gonna show you the ones we cut that we really liked. There were quite a few that we cut. Uh, some of them weren't so good. Some of them were just okay. So I'm just gonna show you the really good ones, but we did have quite a bit. Let's take a look at this first one. So yeah, you should be able to see, we cut this one very thin. So if I put shadow over it, you should be able to see through it. Very nice agate. Kind of got, it's got some moss or something going through it. Here's the next thin one we cut. Some really nice patterns that you get in these. I'll put it, go ahead and shade it. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, this one unfortunately broke, as you can see when we were cutting it. But look at that. Look at the color in that. And you've got green from the copper from the volcanics. So I'm wondering if out there there's some more beautiful agates that have that green copper in it. And just look at the colors in there. You can see a little light coming through it. And this is the other side of that one. So you can once again see that green copper in there and just beautiful colors all through it. I cut this one this way sideways. So the agate, you know, goes through like this and I decided to cut it down the middle just to see what it looked like. And there we go. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. The other side. So nice. Yeah, this stuff is great. I need to get out here more. I really want to go find that vein coming out of the hill. Okay, this one I cut into four pieces and this was one of my favorite ones. So we'll take a look at the first piece. And while on the outside it just looks good, it's when you let light through it that it gets really nice. See that? Very nice. Here's the next piece. And then when we let the light through it, It is beautiful stuff. Here's the next piece of it. Once again, very beautiful. Look at this side. And then we let the light through it. Very nice. Here's the last piece of it. 
It's had the largest center to it with the crystalline quartz going into the middle of it. And letting the light through. So the big one that Tim found, cut it into five pieces. And although by far the biggest and definitely very pretty, maybe not quite the prettiest. Let's take a look at the first piece. So we have this one, still very beautiful. Here's the next one. It's getting dry, let me get it wet. There you go. Next piece. Nice stuff. Here's the other side of it. Next one. There you go. And the other side of it. Very nice. This one we cut thin enough that you can see the light coming through it. Here's the next one. On the other side. So this was actually the edge piece on the other side. If we let the light go through. And this one, we cut the thinnest just to see. Yeah, my saw's not big enough for a piece like this, so you can see we cut it half and then cut it half again. So it didn't quite come out very straight. But it's beautiful. As you can see, that stuff is really nice. There's some beautiful agate out there. So go ahead and get out there and check it out yourself. I've, got, I've given you the coordinates. Go check that hill out, go check the area out. Go look for some of those black agates. They're beautiful. It was a lot of fun, we had a great time, and I hope to get out there again soon. Remember, there's treasure everywhere.